Hey guys, I have an awesome uh, app that I want to share with you today. It's this Panda's Data Analyst AI Copilot that I just built. And I want to show you how you can get it for free and get it up and running. And most importantly, see how it works so you can see if it makes sense to uh, use it yourself to do data analysis and offload some of the analytics work that you do with AI. So let's check this thing out. Um, this is the app actually uh, that we're going to be working on today. I've already built it for you. And it comes with my AI data science team. I'll share that with you here in just a minute. But first, let's see how it works, okay? So you're gonna enter your OpenAI API key. You're gonna pick a model. Um, so I'm gonna connect up with GPT-40 Mini, which is a very cost-effective and affordable model. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna help us create charts. It's going to help us create plots. It's gonna help us create all sorts of like time series plots, anything that you want from any data that you will upload to it. So this is a data set that I'll share with you how to get and how you can get started playing around with it today. It's this bike sales data CSV file, okay? So that's what we're gonna be working on today. We're gonna be getting tables back so we can get like data. Um, we can ask it questions like, how do I uh, show the top five bike models by uh, sales data that, uh, from this file? Uh, we can get bar plots, we can get donut plots or um, pie charts. We can get time series plots. All of this stuff is super easy to make with this new Pandas AI Copilot. All right, so that is the Copilot. Um, what I wanna share with you next is how to get it, how to get it started up and running with it. So um, first thing I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, go to Google. I'm gonna go AI data science team on GitHub. And this is my AI powered data science team. So what you're going to do is uh, first, if you don't mind, give it a star because that uh, tells me that people like the package. But um, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, install it uh, and uh, we're also going to clone it this time. So the apps in this apps folder here, um, this the app that we're going to be working on today is this Pandas data analyst app. And we have some instructions on here how to get it up and run. Um, but the easiest thing to do is just uh, basically clone the repository. So if you go back to the the, re the repository, if um, where is it? Uh, how do I clone uh, code? Uh, I think there's a way to yeah right here clone. You're gonna clone the the GitHub repository, all right? Uh, and that basically just downloads it to your computer. So uh, I'll be working out of VS Code. Once you download it, you're gonna open it up, and uh, I'm actually gonna. Uh, control C to close out of the app. So the file folder system will look something like this. It'll look, uh, it's got a lot of stuff to it. Um, so what, once you get it up and running, we're gonna be working out of the apps folder. So the app that we're working out of is this Pandas Data Analyst app, and it's this app.py file. I've already put it all together for you. Uh, and all you really need to do is just kind of walk through the readme and make sure the requirements are installed. So you're gonna wanna make sure that all of these packages are installed. And then once you have those installed, uh, you're going to do streamlet run and you're gonna point it towards this app. So here's how I'm gonna do it. Mine's, because my root folder is this AI data science team, I gotta find this folder, then this folder, and then the app.py file. So, okay, so here's how I'm gonna do it. Streamlet run, and I'm gonna go app. Uh, and I'm going to hit tab to fill that out. Then I'm going to do uh, the next one I want is pandas. So I'm going to hit tab and then I'm going to hit tab again. And the next thing I want is app.py. So that app.py file, once I have that, I'm just going to hit enter and it's going to fire it up. So it'll look blank like this and it's going to tell you, you know, enter your open AI API key. So I have mine uh, off the screen here because you want to keep those secret. So I'm going to paste it in here. And once I hit enter, it should apply it. Okay. Now, um, the next thing it's going to do is it's going to connect up with OpenAI. So you want to have uh, an OpenAI API key. So you put that in here. And then we're going to use either one of these two models. I'm going to use GPT-40 Mini for this demo. Um, the reason being is it's a little bit more cost effective. Um, so you won't run up your bill quite as fast. In fact, my bills these days are only like, you know, a few cents a month because I'm using GPT-40 Mini for almost everything. Okay, so um, assuming that your API key is valid, the next thing you wanna do is you want to upload a CSV or an Excel file, all right? So I'm going to search for this bikes sales data file. In fact, I'll show you where it's located. So if you've cloned the repository, AI data science team, 
in the data folder, which is down here, there's a couple of data sets that comes with, all right? So we, we're looking for either CSV or Excel files. So I'm gonna pull this bike sales data set, that's this one right here, and just click open, all right? And what that'll do is it'll load it up and it'll even give you a preview of the first uh, five rows, okay? So we can see here there's a date, there's a bike model, there's a price, quantity sold, extended sales, etc. cetera. Um, and then now we're ready to start asking this data set questions, okay? So I've actually uh, put together a few example questions if you just uh, open this up. So the first question, show the top five bike models by extended sales. So we wanna basically aggregate these bike models by this extended sales, all right? So I'm gonna type that in here, hit enter, and give it a few seconds to run. All right, looks like it's finished up, and I can see that the top bike models, uh, the top five are Speedster Elite, Gravel Explorer, Titanium Falcon, Roadster GT, and Carbon Storm. But maybe I wanna represent this as say like a plot. This is what maybe my sales team wants uh, for a report. So now I'm gonna ask the same question, but uh, tell it to display it in a bar chart, okay? So let's do this one next, bar chart. Paste that in there, run that. And what it's doing here is it's, uh, it's gonna be writing the data wrangling code, but also writing the plotting code itself too. And it's gonna execute that right here. All right, beautiful. We now have a bar chart and I can zoom in on it. I can, you know, give you zoom in real close and I can see, oh man, we got Speedster Elite here, Gravel Explorer, Titanium Falcon, Roadster GT, and whatever this one is, oh, Carbon Storm, if I move my face out of the way. Nice. All right, cool. So we are making progress here. Um, let me zoom out of this and then I'll close out of that. Okay. Um, the next question I want to ask, okay, so maybe instead of a bar chart, you guys want a pie chart. Mm -hmm. Let's see if it can do it. Uh, this thing should fire up and we'll reconvene once it's done making. All right, bada bing, bada boom, it is done. And I can see I've got my beautiful uh, donut plot here. Okay, so this is nice. Um, I now have, I can see, you know, um, it broken up different, uh, same plot, just a little bit different, okay? Um, and then the last one here, maybe we'll want to do something even a little ch more challenging, like a time series. Uh, make the extended sales by month for each bike model and use a color to identify the bike models, okay? So if we see here, there's actually a date column uh, for each bike model. And what we can see is this is a, it looks like a daily time uh, timestamp, maybe. So what we want to do is we want to aggregate those days into months and then aggregate the extended sales by bike model. Okay, so let's see if it can do that. All right, I'm gonna paste it right in here, click this button to get it going or hit enter. Uh, let's see, is it going? Oh, not yet, there we go. All right, it's thinking. All right, and there we go. We now have the plot. Let's make it full screen so I can see it and I can see by color. Uh, this is your carbon storm, uh, which is the blue one. Maybe we want to take a look at this one, the Speedster Elite. Uh, that's the top seller, so we can take a couple of these off and really zoom in on the trends and see, okay, this is what's going on. We're selling, we started off you know, in January, February of 2021 at around a million a month, and now we're selling upwards of three million a month in some cases. Nice, okay, love those sales trends. All right, so there you go. That's how you use this uh, Pandas AI uh, Data Analyst Copilot. It's awesome. Um, and uh, if you want to learn more about the code, uh, all you can need to do is go into this app.py file. You can see how I built it. All the source code is in there. Uh, what uh, the secret ingredient here, let me, let me see if I can find where we build the, uh, it's this thing right here. We're making this Pandas Data Analyst. Uh, it uses a data wrangling agent under the hood a data visualization agent under the hood, and that's how this thing works. It's very simple uh, to make one of these, and we're actually, I've, I've already written it so you can easily combine different agents in order to make these kind of like more complicated agents. So very cool, this is what we call a multi-agent. So if you wanna learn more, um, check, the, check out the AI data science team. I'm also, um, if you want to go beyond that, um, if you see on the AI data science team, uh, right here, you can register for my next uh, AI data scientist workshop.
And what this will do is this will give you some more hands-on training with me. And I really go through the perfect for beginners who just want to learn how to combine AI with data science uh, or intermediate data scientists who are looking to advance their careers with AI. Uh, that's what this is all about. And uh, my next one is on April 9th, but I typically have uh, new ones every two weeks or so. I'm, I'm doing them. So check that out. Uh, if you want to learn more, um, definitely attend my next one. Next one um, currently is on time series forecasting. We're going to go time series forecasting AI agent. So check that out. All right. I will see you guys soon.